Days of Dirt. I want to take just a quick second and show you this little uh, device that we got sent to us. It is a JF EGW versatile jump starter. Uh, if you guys have never seen a, one of these little portable jump start jump starters, you are missing out. This one here got sent to us last week uh, to ask to do a video on it. So we're going to demonstrate it for you. <clears throat> we demonstrate. We actually used it the other day on my dad's truck. My dad's truck had been sitting out, out in the weather or outside for right at about a month without being crunk up or run or used. Uh, it did have a red top Optima battery in it. That Optima battery is going on about nine years old. I think the date code was a 615. So when we went to crank the truck, uh, no interior lights, no gauge lights, no gauges would come on. All you could hear was a little buzzer inside dinging and clicking. Uh, wouldn't even try to engage the starter. As soon as we hooked this to it, it fired the truck right up. Well, I mean, it spun over for just a minute because it was sitting there for a while. But it fired the truck right up and was very impressed with this. We actually used it to inflate the one of the, the back left tire. Back left tire had 12 pounds of uh, air in it when we started. We inflated it to 32. It has automatic shut off. You can set what pressure you want the inflator to shut off at. And I, time wise, it was right at six minutes and 13 seconds to inflate it 20 PSI. So it comes in this nice travel carrying case here. Obviously it's got the instructions. Uh, we've already read the instructions prior to using. Uh, make sure you read that. It tells you the do's and don'ts. Uh, you got these little, <clears throat> first things first, I mean, you got the alligator clips for your batteries to jump start cars. It is rec recommended for gasoline or diesel engines, as long as it's 12 volts. So that's the main unit there. Then in the zip top, you've got your normal house charger. Then you've got your 12 volt car charger. And what those do those charge the unit uh those don't charge cars those charge the unit so this is all the contents of the package here well i just mashed the button to turn on okay all right this is all the contents that you get in the package you get your standard alligator positive negative battery clamps these plug into the side right here where it says starter port do not short circuit you simply lift the rubber flap up dummy proof one has a positive negative terminal. You can see the difference in the terminals. One has like a D shape, one is a one is a circle shape, so you can't screw that up. <clears throat> then on underneath you have your tire inflator. Just pull that hose out. That screws onto a standard uh, tire valve stem. That's what we used to inflate the tire the other day. Then this just screws into the adapter here. You could lock it down like on a bicycle tire, bicycle tube, whatever. Then it also has these adapters here for your, you got your football, basketball tire needles. You got your balloons, maybe your kids inflatables. Um, this may be a, an adapter for just a smaller valve stem, I'm assuming. Uh, let me get this unhooked here. They do advertise this little unit to jump start a car 50 times when it is charged 100 percent so it will it will charge it will jump start a car 50 times uh when it is fully charged you have this nice little LED, uh display screen here it tells you what kind of air pressure you have let's see you can turn it on shows that we have zero psi to turn the air compressor on <laughs> You flip that button there, that turns the air compressor on. Like I said, you can set your you can set your PSI to where the machine cuts off automatically. We had it set on 32. Uh, you can change your units. I believe it goes through PSI, it goes bar, KPA, and K, KG centimeters. So then it shows you shows the charge of the unit it's at 75 percent it was 100 percent charged when we jumped the truck off and inflated the tire the other day so it dropped down 25 percent 
They recommend once this unit gets down to 25%, completely recharging the unit. Uh, it will hold a charge for 48 months. So once this unit is 100% charged, you can store it on your shelf for 48 months. If you don't use it, it should be ready to go when you need it. Um, you've got USB ports here for all your electronics, your tablets, your phones, your laptops, your PCs, whatever you need. Then this is the port where you put your chargers in to charge the unit. Like I said, you've got a 12 volt, 12 volt charger or you got a standard household plug. Um, power button, you mash the power button or hold it down. Flashlight comes on, there's a strobe light and there's an SOS light. Pretty handy little, little options to have. Long press it, turns the whole unit off. JFEGWO 3000A 12 volt jump starter with air compressor. You can check them out at jfegwo.com. There's no, there's no dot in the title of the company name. That company name has changed. They've removed the dot. All letters are capitalized. jfegwo.com. Or you can just simply Google search jfegwo. 3000A 12 volt jump starter. You can pick it up on Amazon or you can go directly to their website. All the links will be in the description below. Be sure you click on them, check them out and get you one. I believe this unit here is right at 90 bucks uh, for everything that it comes with and the, the simplicity. Uh, I think it's well worth the money. It has all, all the safety features are built into it so you don't have any worries about melting something down or tearing something up. It is uh, certified, and I do believe you'll be happy and proud of this unit. I'm going to insert the video now of where we jump-started my dad's truck. If you hadn't already, make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, comment. Go check this company out. We were out here at the truck here. Uh, this battery's completely dead. Go in there and hit the key and show them how it's dead. Uh, this battery will not even bring no lights on the dash or nothing. Oh, she, she dead dead. So we're gonna hook the jump box up here. We're gonna hook it. Positive. Negative. 35 degrees out here today. Yes, it is 35 degrees out here today. So hit the power button. Try it. It's ready to go. I don't know. That little bitty box. Hey, one cool feature about this jump box, well, we'll say it does have USB ports on it.
building. It's up to 26, 27 pounds right now. Started at 12. Oh, we did. 32 and a half and cut off automatically. So that's pretty cool. You can set it what you want to. You see it's got 32 and a half pounds right this second. You can walk away from it. Walk away and it does what it's supposed to do. Then your cord just tucks back up in there like so. All these go back in your traveling case. Turn it off. It's got two flashlights there. I'm not sure how good they work. I hadn't tried it at night, but I will try it. It's a pretty cool feature that the jumper's unplugged, so if you need it just for air or something, you don't yeah. have to carry the jumpers around. And it powers off. So out of that time right there, we've used 25% of the charge on the battery here. So it's down to 75%. I guess I should have showed that on the display there, but anyways, pretty neat little deal. J-F-E-G-W-O-3000A, -E 12 volt jump starter with air compressor. You can find it in the link below in the descriptions. There's no, the company logo has changed. There's no dot in the title here. Uh, all one word, search for it. Click the link in the description and get you one. Very handy tool to have.